Exporting a DXF from Fusion 360's flat pattern mode has some advantages and disadvantages, particularly for laser cutting. For starters, the DXF will include all outer profiles, interior profiles, bend center lines, bend extend lines, and any text, which will all be assigned to different layers within the DXF file. With the flat pattern active in the Fusion 360 browser, we can simply select Export Flat Pattern as DXF. You will then see the option to convert splines to polylines. Polylines are line segments strung together, which makes them much simpler. We highly recommend using this option as polylines are more widely accepted and provide more consistent results across software packages. After checking the option, we can also define the tolerance. This will specify the maximum allowable deviation between the polylines and the original splines. Leaving this to the default is often sufficient. After clicking OK, we're presented with another dialog where we can define the file name and location. Click Save once you filled out the name and location. I also recommend opening your DXF in a graphics program such as Adobe Illustrator, or reopen the DXF in a new Fusion 360 file to ensure everything was included in the export. The only real disadvantage to this flat pattern export is that it will always include the bend lines and we have no choice to exclude them. However, you may choose to remove them in a graphics program to not confuse them with the outer contour lines if you don't plan to have the part bent. To summarize, leveraging Fusion 360 sheet metal features is a great way to design for sheet metal manufacturing while providing flexible workflows. Creating custom sheet metal rules allows you to design specific to the material and bend processes you're working with. Finally, exporting the flat pattern as a DXF is a quick and easy way to get a flat pattern for laser cutting.